Okay, good morning everyone. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I will show you how to assemble the uh, acetylene. So we have this brand new uh, gauge, torch, and flashback arrestor. And uh, acetylene tank, oxygen tank. So first thing we need to do, we unbox this and we get the uh, uh, pressure gauge. So green is for the oxygen and red is for the gas. The brand of this acetylene is Victor from Esab. Okay, so first get for the gas. This one. Acetylene and then connect it here. Okay, so as you see, the thread here is counterclockwise. The normal thread is clockwise. For gas, it is counterclockwise. Okay, so make this on top. Okay, like this is okay. So you can see easily. And then tight. Then later we will take uh, foam and soap. So we will do a lip testing. Okay, next, you have to use the flashback restore. Yes. Okay. Connect from here. This one. Check if there is oil seal or something. No. No o-ring. Always remember there is an arrow. Arrow means this is coming like this. This is the blow out. Okay. So uh, wait, there's something. Okay. So basically, uh, there's no other way out like this okay see just for your information if you look at this this is opposite <laughs> here is the thread uh, this one is okay because we got two so this is fine that means this is out okay next tight it huh? make sure it is well tied uh, get me a sponge foam foam and soap for leak testing okay check this also okay done now next uh, for the oxygen first let me check okay so we have pressure okay for the oxygen it is uh, normal clockwise clockwise uh, thread threading Using the adjustable wrench, you're gonna tight the uh, the uh, the nut of the bolt fittings. Next is the arrestor. Okay, what is the uh, function of the arrestor? The arrestor, in case your uh, uh, gas uh, gas hose explode and it gets fire it will not uh, uh, the tank will not explode because the uh, flashback arrestor function is to arrest the uh, flashback of the gas or the pressure so meaning it is restricted in one way of flow that is uh, the safety function of the flashback arrestor without the flashback arrestor in case your hose burst uh, immediately it will uh, the the flame will enter inside your tank and it can cause an explosion that you don't need so basically we are using this uh, uh, last arrestor for the safety function of the okay next we will install the uh, acetylene and uh, oxygen pipe so the red is for uh, acetylene and green is for the oxygen so 
So again, since it is gas, the trading is opposite, counterclockwise. Okay, then glue tight. So uh, for uh, for acetylene for acetylene counterclockwise for oxygen clockwise. Next we will use the cutting torch because we will going to cut this metal frame of the H beam. Here mentioned fuel means acetylene or the gas. Oxy means oxygen. So fuel means for the red pipe and oxygen means for the green pipe. If you like this video, please uh, like and subscribe. Our intention is to give you, teach you the basic uh, knowledge in the field of uh, engineering. Now we are connecting the torch for cutting. So basically we have this multiple nozzle for, uh, this is for uh, uh, welding or uh, soldering. And this one is for heating. If you want to heat up a metal using this, and this is for cutting. Okay, now we can use the nozzle. So for the nozzle, there are different uh, tip sizes. For this one, it says, okay, 1-1, one 101A. One, one one Make sure that this is well plugged inside. Okay, and then tight. Okay, now tight it properly. Okay, and we have this flaring spark. Okay, now so we'll open first, we'll do the bubble test before we start so that we can able to check if there is leakage okay we need to get the uh, sponge and uh, uh, soap okay so using the uh, sponge and soap we will going to do a leak testing so if there is leakage you will see that there is a bubbles here yeah so here all the pittings or the joint that we installed we verify that there is no leak because you don't want gas leakage your gas tank will get empty easily and also it's not safe it can cause uh, unnecessary unwanted explosion the same for the oxygen no by the way we did not open open first the bulb okay so we pressurize now you can see the pressure gauge here so we pressurize it you can see if I close this pressure discharges so here is from your uh, tank pressure okay tank standby pressure and here is the output pressure where you are regulating through this okay the same here we open and we check this is the tank inside tank um, pressure 
and here is the discharge pressure okay so now we're going to verify and check if there is any leakage so far so good okay here also verify and check as well here in the neck okay so we verify that there is no leak no leak because if there is leak you can smell okay so now we open then we'll try to flame it okay so check the pressure gauge according to your uh, here it mentioned here look weld cut heat so it cut on this pressure okay so this pressure is for cutting that is mentioned here and also for this uh, it says here for cut or heat so if you follow as per the instruction of the gauge it says cut so this is for cutting okay the blue for cut the orange is for heat and this is too high the same here green for weld cut for blue and and heat for the orange okay so we're gonna try now to spark get the sparker there and then go go a little bit farther okay so we're going to try now to play <coughs> it <coughs> Okay, so now how to play it? First, uh, put open the gas a little bit, and then you can adjust now for the uh, oxygen. Okay, so again, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. The more, the merrier. And thank you for watching. I hope you like it. Showing you how the basic uh, assembly, installation, and testing of the uh, uh, acetylene and oxygen. So, we are ready now to cut the, uh, the uh, I-beam or H-beam. We made also this tank so that easily we can uh, transport or transfer the tank without uh, hassle. Okay, so that's it. Good. If you like the video, please like and subscribe. Learn with Randy. Thank you. God bless. Bye-bye.